So good evening once again, everyone. Thanks for being here. Truly, truly appreciate it. We know that you probably have better things to be doing on a Tuesday evening than listening to us here, but we really appreciate you coming tonight, and I don't want to waste your time. I want to really um, give you something here that I think is important, and um, I guess you'll have to make that decision whether this is important or not. You know, one of the things when we talk about finding good quality stock picks, the first thing that, what's the first thing that hops into everyone's mind? This guy has some kind of super duper scan, right? This guy, what's he going to, what's he going to tell me here? Is it going to be, what, what's the fancy part of it? Now, I hate to disappoint you here, guys. And by the way, I'm saying how to find good quality stock picks. I didn't say good entries. So one of the first things that I do when I'm looking for quality stock picks is I start looking, um, start thinking about um, my requirements. Now, uh, this is not one of those good quality stock picks. Um, um, Western Union reported earnings tonight, and you can see they're they're gapping lower. So what I what I start with when I think about doing um, or finding good quality picks is the first thing I want to do is calm down a little bit. How many of you during your trading day feel like you cannot move fast enough? You're rushing. Hurry, 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 rush, rush, rush. Got to find that next thing that's popping. And we're always seeming as traders to be chasing something that's popping up. Okay? We're, we're always late to the game too, right? That's right. Alan's not anymore. Alan knows the secret here. <clears throat> we don't want to be always rushing and chasing to a trade. And I can tell you, um, back in the day, um, when I was struggling as a trader, I, I would finish a trading day and I would feel just absolutely mentally wrung out. I mean, absolutely tired. Um, just, just mentally fried from the day. And I would look back... I, I, I was so busy, I was doing all of these different things, and I would look back and and try to determine what did I actually accomplish today. Yeah, anybody ever done that? You've been you've just been flying all day long looking for trades and trying to find something and digging around in, in the market. And then at the end of the day you look, well, I didn't trade anything, I didn't make any money. I didn't do anything except rush around and that's one of the problems in the um that people are a trap that people get um stuck in for a long long time because we get this idea in trading that there is the perfect scan the perfect secret sauce the perfect thing that will make us that will bring us the three trades today that we need to look at to make money Right? That's what we all want, right? Just every day, give me two or three trades that I can just go in there and make money. That's, that's what we want, right? I don't want to think about it. Just give me those three trades today that are going to make me money. Now, is anybody here actually believe that happens? That there's somebody out there that has that magic thing that just, uh, just gives them the three trades today that's you know, guaranteed to win. There is no such thing. And I'll tell you guys, I wasted years trying to find it. I wasted years trying to find that perfect scan, that perfect combination, that perfect thing to give me um, just those trades that were going to make me money. But what ended up happening and, and just type a Y in here if you guys will agree with this. You've spent weeks, months, even years, 
and may I say even wasted weeks, months, even years, trying to come up with the perfect combination of indicators and the perfect scan to make you successful in the market. And no matter where you go, no matter what setup that you find, no matter how many different times you try that diff a different setup, it never plays out like everyone tells you it should, right? You go to the webinar and they cherry pick out these, oh my gosh, if you don't use this, you're missing out. If you're not doing this, you're missing out. And then you try it and it doesn't work. Well, I don't wanna be one of those people, okay? I want to really give you something that made a difference for me. And sadly, it's much easier than you think it is. It's going to require patience. Oof, that's a tough one, right? Patience. Here comes a tougher one. It's going to require discipline. Oof. And then it's going to require you to have some of that quiet time in front of charts to focus on the price action. Because I guarantee you guys, there's trades every day in the market. But what do we do? We're in such a mad rush to find a trade, we've, we're flipping by them so quickly, we can't even make an evaluation as to whether that's really a good trade. We're not even really, we're looking at the candlestick itself. We're not even looking at the candle, the pattern, the chart, the trend. We're flashing by them so quickly in a mad dash to find that perfect trade, we end up missing great trades. And how many of you ever done this? Find a pretty darn good, doggone good looking trade, but you're in such a, such a rush, you flip to the next, flip to the next, flip to the next, 20 minutes you come back to that trade that was starting to look pretty good and it's already gone too far. Can't, tr can't trade it, it's already gone. Trade's over. Right? Oh, thank you, Gwen. That's, that's very kind of you guys. I appreciate that. I know that was a problem for me all the time. I was, uh, even when I found a great trade, I would glaze uh, or glass right past it so quickly, thinking I will get back to it and never get back to it. Sounds like I've been reading your mail, Keith. It, it's because I've been there. Guys, I understand that and, and I understand the pain of that because it's so frustrating, isn't it? It's so frustrating at the end of the day, looking back and seeing no progress, nothing's happened. I, I'm still rushing, I'm still chasing. I'm, I'm in this mad dash to try and find a trade. And at the end of the day, I have found nothing to do. So a couple things I want to start with. One of those is price action itself. Now you can see I have a very simple chart here. And by the way, guys, this is the chart that 99.9% um, of all of my trades come from. I don't use a bunch of indicators to find my trades. Okay, now I know that's probably really unrealistic for the brand new person here. What do you mean? You just use a naked chart like this. And that's, by the way, that's what I call it, my naked chart. You use a chart like this to make all your trade decisions. How can you do that without MACD? Or how can you do that without stochastics? Or, you know, the hundreds of different other indicators out there. How can you do that? Because I study price action. Guys, and, it, and it's really not that difficult. A trade that we were keeping an eye on today in Right Way Options is right here, Johnson & Johnson. Now, when you're looking for a trade and you see a chart like this, what's the first thing that flashes through most people's mind? Well, it's not a trade today, move on, right? Whoop, 
Keep going. I'm, I'm looking for that that next popper. Come on, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. And the next thing you do, look back, and you see a candle like that. There's a pullback that's happening right here. We don't recognize it. We don't pay attention to it because it's pulling back. We're not interested in that. Just give me that candle. And then by the time we see this, we go, oh, man, I can't trade that. It's already gone too far. Right? So one of the first keys to finding good quality trades, guys, is something very simple. Create a watch list of stocks that are trending. One of the things that changed my life when I was ready to quit trading altogether and I was looking through charts cleaning things up is when I realized that there were lots of great looking charts all around me but I had been so focused on the hard right edge so focused in the rush to a trade and all that rushing and I missed out on the whole move the entire thing right missed out on the whole trend the whole run because i was rushing to find the next trade rather than taking the time to evaluate this chart and just simply wait for the next entry into the trade so rule number one if you want to find trades good quality trades all the time is build a watch list of trending trades trending stocks Make sure they fit you price-wise, okay? Make sure that they're not extremely volatile, okay? If they're whipping up and down lots of wicks and tails in a chart, just pass right on by those. We don't have time for that. We want those nice, simple quality trades, easy to trade stocks, okay? We're not talking about predicting anything here. We're talking about finding a trending chart marking up that trending chart and waiting for the next entry into the trade. Now, something I talked about today in the Right Way Options class, um, for those of you that don't know, in Right Way Options, I, I do a, a live uh, two hours every day on, on the market. And I was talking about a simple price pattern here. When, when I see a chart, Okay, the stock has moved up and there was a bit of a price support right in here that failed. Stock pulls back in here and I get this question all the time. I'll get a bullish candle that pops up in here and the question is, is that a buy? Should I buy that? Okay, when at the same time, there may be a chart that was moving like this Okay, that shows a buy signal right here. Okay, now why would this one be better than this one? In fact, why would this one be way better than this one? Well, first off, this broke price support. When a stock breaks price support, it's now subject to the possibility we rally back to resistance and then fail, right? That's how failure start. How many of you been caught over and over and over trying to buy the breakout and only getting your head handed to you when it reverses? Trying to chase that breakout. I gotta wait for the, hit the breakout. And then the stock pulls back okay well what i learned is when a stock is underneath a price resistance when it breaks a price support what i have to do is wait for the next entry into the trade and the next entry into the trade requires a resumption of the trend we cannot have an uptrend with a broken support okay so what we need that stock to do is cross back above prove to hold support and then show me buyers now i can trade that trade
even though it may still be below that resistance, I have my first high or low, I have a resumption of trend and a possibility to trade. But the thing is, I see people pass by stocks like this every single day. Well, there's no buy signal here, move on. Instead, what they should be thinking is, hey, that's pulled back to price support. That's holding trend. How many times has this stock pulled back to price trend and support and then continued to be a winning trade? Lots of times, right? Doesn't require me to predict anything. Not even a little bit predict anything. I just have to follow the trend. Wait for the next entry in the trade. And guys, the reason that is, the reason that works is not because of me or retail traders seeing it. As a matter of fact, the only reason a stock like J&J runs up is because institutions are supporting it. It's the only way a trend can be made. Institutions are over 80% of the market volume. The big guys out there. I've, I've made mention of that retail traders, we're kind of like the flea on an elephant's butt. We can't move the stock if we, if every retail trader got together and tried to move J&J, &J, probably couldn't do it. Without the institutions backing the stock, we cannot move anything. Okay, so what I've learned to do is trust the trend. If institutions are making this trend stable and progressing, all I have to do is wait for the next entry. So when I get a stock that pulls back in a trend, finds that price support, finds that trend, I want to be watching this stock like a hawk. I want to be watching it for that next entry, okay? Now take note that I'm always drawing a trend line on my charts. I want to know where the current trend is. Are we reacting to the trend? Does it look like J&J &J is reacting well to its trend? It's almost dead solid perfect here, right? It may move and stretch itself away from the trend for a while, but look what happens. It comes back to its trend, pops back up, consolidates, and there's our entry signal. And see, we passed by this trade a dozen times, passed by this stock because we didn't want to take the time to evaluate, hey, this could be setting up in the future. I just have to wait for the next entry. Is that making sense, guys? We need to exercise patience, slow down, and focus on the charts that are setting up. Not the charts that have already started to move. By the time we see them and they've already started to move, it's often too late, right? We take too much risk in those trades. We're chasing. So a term that I like to use all the time is to make the trade come to me. I always want to make the trade come to me. Okay, so this is what I did. Here's the drawings that I have on my chart. This pink line is an alert. After I draw this chart up, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to be coming back and checking on it every few seconds. I don't have to be keep it in my brain and because my brain's pretty feeble. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And I would forget about it. Okay. I cannot continue to pass by these trades and think that I'm gonna get back to them. And you guys, if you're, if you're honest with yourself, you know this is true. You know this is true because you've looked at those stocks and then you look back later and go, man, I, I had this stock and look how much it's gone up now. 
and I've missed it. Okay. Rick M, what I do, okay, my rule is no more than 3 to 4% of your account into any one trade. That's a, a primary rule for me. Okay. So depending on the size of your account, you have to think about those trades that fit you, that make it worth you being involved in them. If you find a stock that's just too expensive and you can only buy one or two shares, certainly you can make a percentage gain on that if you're right on direction. But think about the pressure that you have on a two or three or 10 share position because it's way more than you can actually handle. Okay, so build that watch list of trending stocks that fit your portfolio size. And, and by the way, guys, it, it can, everybody starts at a different place. There's no shame in saying, um, you know, I'm starting with five grand or I'm starting, there's no shame in that. Okay. But we have to get to a place where we build a process and a plan so that we're staying focused, patient, disciplined, and focused, right? So for me, I find a chart like this. I place an alert on the chart. I move on. I'm looking at the next trending stock. This one's done. The computer is going to tell me when this pops up. And by the way, we made money on this tr uh, stock last week in right way options. Made about 30% on this move. Just simply waiting for the trend, waiting for the trade, stock popped up. So we're doing it again. We can trade the same stock over and over and over as long as the trend continues. Okay, now anyone that knows right way options, and if you guys have been watching my morning market prep videos, how many of you have seen this over and over? In the morning market prep video, I kept talking about this stock. We broke through this resistance, watch, wait, Watch, wait, be careful as that moves over to trend. Watch for the potential entry into the trade, right? I covered it all kinds of, uh, more and more, I mean, I don't know, dozens of times probably over the last few weeks in the morning market prep video. And all I had to do was wait, place this trend, wait for the trade to come to me and you can see the result. Now, whether you take the trade or not, it doesn't matter. What I'm talking about is always being able to find those trades. You may say, look, the market's crazy. I don't feel comfortable with the market, and I just don't want to trade right now. Cool. That's a perfect answer. I don't have a problem with that. But what I do have a problem with is people chasing around, racing like crazy to find stocks, when if we just take the time to process what's going on in these charts, we can find these trades. Every single day, we can find trades like these. And not just on daily charts, on any time frame. Okay? So build yourself a quality watch list. And that quality watch list, once again, make sure it fits you personally price-wise. If you're an option trader, make sure those stocks trade options and decent options, not crummy options. Make sure that there's enough volume in the stock to make it worthwhile. Make sure it's not this really volatile, newsy thing that's whipping all over the place. Let me ask you this, guys. If you look at this chart, does this chart look clean, decisive, deliberate, and easy to read? Pretty simple trade, right? Pretty simple 
on that position. How about if we look at this chart? Who wants to trade this mess over here? Which would you rather trade? Trying to fight this mess or take the easy trade? Right? It's pretty simple, right? When you when you're presented with that question, it's kind of like, duh, right? Now you may think, okay, great, he's shown me two trades, shoot two possible charts that have those kind of patterns. Guys, I can do this all day long. All day long. Look at these trades as this stock started to trend. Right in here, possible entries here, great entries here. Pulled back, broke support, rallied back up, found its support. There was a little trade that could have happened in here. I'll tell you honestly, I wouldn't have probably caught it. You can see I had an alert in here. I was trying to catch that right there for this little consolidation. And how about this nice little tight consolidation? We're holding into this trend. We're holding this price support. What happens when that pops out? Well, I can tell you I'm watching it. That's why that little pink line is there. I'm watching that trade. I can trade these stocks over and over and over and over. I look for concise price action, not trying to chase everything that's out there, not trying to find do anything fancy or anything crazy. How many of you remember that I covered SPLK several days in a row in the morning market prep? Stock trending, stock breaks out, pulls back, finds support. Isn't that what we want to be looking for? That possible trade. Yeah, I covered it again this morning. That's right. Or how about SPCE? Same thing, right? Holding trend. All kinds of opportunities that set up in a trade when we just follow the trend. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, an, an easy way to find these. Um, CRWD, I know folks in RWO have made some money on this. There's another, just an alert in here waiting for that trade. This moved over to trend, popped up. This one's a little bit more volatile, a little bit messier chart. But notice that if we wait for the trade to occur, there's money to be made. Um, Lee, my, the way I look at charts is just like this. Now I have a strategy, okay, we call it the 3-8 trap, that I teach to everyone because I know it's unrealistic right off the bat to, to get comfortable with just reading price action. It takes time, right? takes time to learn that. So we have a, a strategy we call the 3-8 trap. And I'm actually going to um, uh, pull up the 3-8 trap and I'm gonna do something here. Um, the 3-8 trap is nothing more than an eight exponential, I'm gonna take this, this off for now. Nothing more than an eight exponential moving average and a three exponential moving average. Okay, so when you're looking at this, what we're looking for is not the crossover. A lot of people want to chase this big move right here, chase that crossover. That's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back to that J&J &J because that's a much more concise chart. I'm not worried about chasing the crossover trade. What I'm looking for is that three exponential moving average. Here's the crossover. I'm waiting for that three to pull back toward the eight, the three stay above the eight, and I'm looking for the next entry into the trade. Okay, so you might have got in in here, little winning trade. Stock pulls back again, maybe get in here. Notice the three pulls back to the eight right here. If you have a price alert across that, there's an entry into the trade. 
Stock consolidates here for several days, rests. You might have got into this trade, three pulls back toward the eight. Okay, we do that over and over and over. Just follow the chart. Okay, now this is how I learned, or one of the ways that I learned to read that naked chart, that naked price action. Okay. <laughs> Greg, that's that always comes up, even though I say, let's keep on a, uh, on a subject here. Well, the next thing is, all right, so you showed me how to get in, now where do I get out? What that tells me, Greg, is that you don't have a plan. I did this in right way options today. How many of you would, how many of you listening right now, would it change your trading life if you made 9,600 bucks over the next 12 months? Who would say, holy cow, 9,600, can I, 9,600 bucks over the next 12 months? Who would say that would just change things up? That would, that would change your world. Okay, how do we do that? You make 200 bucks a week. That's how you do that. Anybody see any possible trades in here that would have made you 200 bucks? Two hundred bucks a week will do that. Now, here's the thing: for those of you who say, "Well, ninety-six hundred dollars doesn't impress me at all," I saw somebody put a no in there. No, that wouldn't impress me at all. Okay. Can the same trade make you three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars a week just by scaling it up? Well, I'm showing you where to enter and I'm telling you how to get out. What's your goal, Greg? What do you want to try to achieve? And don't tell me. I'm just here to make money. That's a fantasy. It may be a desire, but it's a fantasy. The way you make money is have a goal. Have something you're trying to achieve. My good buddy Rick Sadler in, from Hit and Run Candlesticks, two years ago didn't know how to trade options at all. Spent some time with me and since then he's been trading just long calls and long puts. He opened an account with $5,100, $5,100 guys. I think the last I saw, Ed, maybe you can help me with this number. He's at 36, 37,000 on that account. 47,000. He's headed to $50,000 in under two years. Started with $5,100 in accounts, trading, trading calls and puts. Think about that, guys. Think about that for a second. How did he do that? He did it by going in, taking his profit, getting in the trade, taking his profit, getting in, taking his profit, doing it over and over and over and over. A good buddy of mine from the room, okay, he goes by the name of Mike Peterson. He's a, he's actually lives in my same little town. Taught him how to trade options. He trains this, 3-8 trap. Last month, I think you said, Mike, you did 38 trades or something like that. 38 trades made over $6,000 last month. Trading the 3-8 trap. 
and almost all of his trades, almost all of his trades were small winners. 120, 150, 85 bucks, but he just kept repeating it over and over and over. Okay. So if you want to find those good stock picks, start building that watch list. Let's stay on track here. Start building that watch list. Start marking up those charts. Exercise some patience and wait for the next entry into the trend. If you have that, that certain goal, we can find those winning trades, right? We don't need anything fancy here to find these winning trades. We just need to follow the trend, do some good analysis on the chart, stop chasing our tails. You know, one of the things I, I talk about every once in a while is, is traders are an awful lot like that dog out in the middle of the yard, just running around chasing its tail. It's fun to watch, it really is, funny. But it's not productive, right? How about we stop chasing our tail and get focused and just trade a simple trend, right? And just repeat those trades over and over and over. Now, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to remove price from this. I'm just going to show you. Let's remove all of the price, all of the confusion from this, from this. Okay, we know Johnson & Johnson made money, right? Okay. Well, Evelyn, finding volume is pretty easy, um, particularly in this market. Finding volume is very easy. There's tons of volume in stocks. Now, if you're talking about options, I don't look at volume, I look at open interest. How much, how many contracts are actually being held in a trade, okay? And I'm gonna give you guys a really easy button solution here in just a little bit. Okay, I wanna show you a stock, whoops. Um, they don't get much more boring than Coca-Cola, okay? Almost never in the news, boring stock. Options are cheap, boring stock. Trading this boring stock last year, guys, I made $25,000. Just trading this boring stock. Tell me it can't be done. Okay, can you guys see any trades in here where the 3A trap produced trades? Trend? All we gotta do is follow it, right? Wait for the trade. Cheap, inexpensive options, repeating over and over and over. How about Visa? Could you have made any money on Visa? If you like more expensive stocks, how about Shop? Microsoft. Guys, these trades are around us everywhere. Everywhere we find stocks that are trending. They're around us everywhere. But we're not taking the time to evaluate the trade. Here's a trade we made in RWO recently. That was the entry into the trade right there, that little pink line. Did we make money on that? How many in RWO, just type a Y if you made really good money on that. Just finding a chart that's trending, waiting for the entry into the trade, 
moving in and moving back out once we have our goal achieved. Okay. These trades are around us everywhere, every single day. But what I find um, most traders are doing is we're racing around so fast, we're never seeing the quality that's right in front of us. How about an ETF? Can you do it with an ETF? Oh, yeah, big time. Can you do it with an ETF, guys? Okay. Simple setups, simple trading. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you something that I do that I cheat, cheat the system. Okay. And... And I'm not here necessarily to sell you something, but you can certainly take a look at it if you want it, if it's something that you think could help you in your trading. Um, that guy up there with the high and tight haircut, the former Marine, one of the sharpest guys out there that you're going to find when it comes to computers and technology and that kind of thing. We talked to him, and he went out and he built us a very simple tool. And this tool goes out and hunts for these trades. Okay? Now, it, it, and I'll tell you how I use it. Okay? A lot of people use it by trying to search everything in the market. Well, here's what I know, guys. I don't have enough money to trade even a tiny little bit of all the stocks in the market. So why do I care about all the stocks in the market? I don't. I only care about those stocks that are trending, showing me concise price action and consistency. Anything else, I could give a rip. I don't, I don't need to look at it. I don't even want to waste my time on it. I want to find those Cokes of the world and just keep trading them. Okay. And what I'm going to show you is something very, very simple. I left these windows open. And it, it, during the day, these are actually going along and ticking, just ticking along and bringing us potential trades. So this is just the 3 8 trap on an hourly chart. Okay. Nothing more than the 3 8 trap. Take a look at SE today. What do you guys think? Think SE could be developing something here? If I take that price back action back off, you're going to see the 3A trap. Stocks pulled back to the 50, holding a trend. And what did we see today? Buyers. Buyers stepping up. To push in that trade, okay? This just ticks along all day long. This kept hitting all day long as a potential trade. What I do is I take my watch list, guys, and I put it in here. And it just does all the work for me. It sorts it, sorts it all and just continues to spit out trade ideas. I do it in different time frames. I do it in different, little bit different waves. Take a look at a stock like um, UNH. You guys see the 3 8 trap here? 3 pulling back to the 8. Buyer stepping up here. Low risk entry trade. You may choose to say, look, still in a downtrend, I don't want to trade that. I got no problem with that. But remember what I said about the pattern. The pattern is the stock broke its trend. Broke its trend, it broke its support. Where does it become a potential good trade again? When it rallies, pulls back and finds its higher low and begins a trend. That's how all trends begin. And I can prove it. 
over and over and over. Break the downtrend, rally up, find support. There's an entry, there's an entry, there's an entry, here's an entry. All of those producing profitable trades. Notice that when we wait for those trades, when we wait for those trades to come to us, we take very little heat on those trades. Patience, right? Patience. Focus on a trend. Discipline to follow a set of rules. And you can find trades like this every day. Um, Eric, yes, ask about the LTA scanner. Ed's here to answer questions. And by the way, one of the things I just wanted to let you know, I brought up UNH because look what this was doing today. It was telling me UNH was setting up my 3-8 trap. My potential trade, my higher low, the things that I was looking for in that trade. And it just brought it to me. Handed it to me on a silver platter. Okay. Yes, this is LT. This is the live trading alert scanner. During the day, this is ticking off trades. Okay. All day long this was running and it's just ticking. Every time a new trade comes through the triggers, it's ticking those trades, okay? And I use them for all different kinds of patterns. We use them for patterns in a uh, trade pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. OSTK, can you guys see this pattern here? Broke its downtrend. We struggled here, broke support. Bounced around. What happened over here today? There's our pullback. There's buyers starting to step into that trade. Okay. These patterns repeat over and over and over. And if we take the time to evaluate, to look at these charts, to find these trades. And then I start setting price alerts, okay? Those trades that I showed you in the beginning that were price alerts, they're right here. I have a price alert on home. Does anyone see why? Broke the downtrend, higher lows, consolidating, big gap above that could get filled. I have a price alert right here. I'm waiting for this to move on over, find its trend, and then show me that entry signal into the trade. Okay. OSTK was in that list. Monster is in that list. Can you guys see the pattern? You already saw Newmont Mining. You already saw SPLK. You already saw SPCE. How about BBY? I mentioned this to everyone yesterday. You guys would confirm that in RWO. Broke the downtrend, rallied up, held support, buyer stepping in. Here's a trade I'm currently holding, Ulta. Remove all of these excess lines. These are actually laid out trades here that I'm showing. There's the trend, guys. You saw my price alert was right across here. And all I did, I'll turn the price alert back on. There's that pink line. All I did is wait for the trade to come to me. I'm currently up over 40% on this trade right now. Every single day, trades like this are occurring 
okay? But what you're, what you're, we're missing and we're by bypassing and we're, we're running when we should be walking and focusing. Okay. All right, now tomorrow, Ed is gonna be doing a workshop, a little workshop on the LTA scanner. He can show you about it. It's a real, real simple interface. Let me show you that, guys, here just a second. It's a real simple interface. By the way, if you wanna do the 3-8 trap, we have a built-in scan for the 3 8 trap. Okay. Um, let's see, the names change. There we go. 3 8 trap. There's a bear 3 8 trap. There's bull 3 8 traps. Three candle 3 8 traps. These are all built in, guys. It's all done. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of potential trades or combinations of scans. And all you got to do is pick it out of the list, decide what you want to scan. I do this. I use my optional list. All of those scans that you saw that I pulled over were just my optional list, stocks that I know are trending and setting up. I run the 3 8 trap in here. I load my stocks in this list. There's my stocks. I load them in the list and it just delivers to me the trades for the patterns that I'm looking for. I just copy and paste my list over in there. This just brings them to me. Now I got to tell you guys, I have become really dependent on the LTA scanner because it's so simple and easy to use. and. It is, it's made me much more efficient. Instead of me going through endless lists, how many of you have ever done this? You've got list after list after list, and what you're doing is every day is you're sorting through this list. This is what I used to do. I would go through and I would sort this list, and every day I would be going through this entire list looking for trades. Now I just load this list in the LTA scanner and the LTA scanner brings them to me. Okay. Now let me ask you guys a question. How many of you listening right now would say that you've learned something here with the 3-8 trap? that the 3-8 trap could really start to produce some good results for you if you study it. Now, I didn't say it's going to start making you money tomorrow, did I? You're going to have to study it. So here's what I'm going to ask you guys to do. I'm going to ask you guys to go over to my YouTube channel. Okay? I have the full strategy class well, actually multiple full strategy classes for free over on my YouTube channel. Okay. I'm going to give you my, where is it? <laughs> Just a second. I got to I got to find, find, I got too many windows open. <laughs> I'm going to give you the link. I'm going to ask you to go over there. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. You can get this information. It doesn't cost you anything. Okay? Study the 3-8 trap. Okay? Um, HC, yeah, I just said it's built. It's already built into the LTA scanner, plus hundreds of others. Okay? It's built in. You click a few buttons, open the window, and it starts scanning for you. Seriously, it's that simple. We click a few buttons. And if you want to see that demonstrated tomorrow, be right here in room three, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Ed's going to demonstrate it for you. Okay? 
it's very very easy to operate and use yes the 38 the 38 is in there oh you're giving them a my youtube channel video thank you terry Malcolm's asking, Malcolm knows the question of this. When I take a long-term trade, what pattern do I use for a long-term weekly trade? Anybody want to guess? This is an actual trade that I'm in, in Walmart. My entry in this trade was right here. Okay, do you guys see the 3 8 trap? What if you trade intraday? Hey, Doug, can this do something for me? Could I do this if I trade? Um, um, a five minute or a 15 minute? Let's go with a 15 minute chart if I trade the Nasdaq can I find 3.8 trap trades in the NASDAQ? Yep. All the time. Uh, Pablo, um, it integrates with TC2000. It's not for TC2000. It's a standalone program. Um, and the w one thing that's really cool about it, Pablo, is it doesn't bog down your system. Um, it's a very small program itself. And all of the data we stream to you, just like Netflix, we stream that to you. We run it. We do all the calculations in our servers, okay, and stream to you the results. So it doesn't bog down your machine, okay? But it does integrate with TC2000, Okay, so here's a scan. Okay, this is for a Heiken Ashi chart. And you can see Etsy is in that chart and I can just double click and it takes me right to, right to that chart, okay? American Express just takes me right to that chart. It'll do the same thing with Thinkorswim and I believe TradingView, isn't that right? Ed, Trading View is also, um, um, it integrates with Trading View. Okay. So if you're looking for something like that, if you're looking for that easy button, that thing that that's always eluded you guys i'm telling you you can find it with these strategies now we'd love to have you become a member of the room but and and participate and learn be part of um what we do because we do this stuff every single day okay but hopefully you saw something new here something where i didn't i hope no one saw me hype something up that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Because here's the thing. It's nothing more. I've just, all we've done here is enhance that naked chart right there. That's it. Enhance that naked chart so that we can easily see those patterns occurring. Okay. It's very visual and most traders are very visual. So nothing fancy here. One of our members, Malcolm, he has a saying that we're using it around the room anymore. He says, no fancy, no dancy, just price action or price is king. Something I've said for years, price is king. No fancy, no dancy, price is king. And, and seriously, that is the truth. If you guys want the holy grail to trading, it's right here in the price section of the chart. It's not in a fancy set of indicators. Trust me, it's not. It's right in the price action of the chart where we can find charts that are trending 
and we just wait for the next entry into the trade. All right. Now, guys, um, Ed, would you mind tossing out the link? If anyone is interested in picking up the LTA scanner, I want to give you that opportunity to do that. But if you just want to review or learn more about it tomorrow, be here, right here in room three at 2 p.m. Eastern, okay? And if you can't make it, okay, on the website itself, on the Hit and Run Candlesticks website, if you want to learn more about the LTA scanner, just come right over here. Whoops, here, let me log out. I'm gonna log out so it looks just like if you're not even a member, okay? Come right here to products, go to live trading alerts, and right over here to LTA manual and tutorials, okay? When I click on this, every single one of these little green posts here is an LTA video. Setting up new strategies, new scans, okay? Answering questions, okay? And here's the last thing I'm gonna say about the LTA scanner, guys, that I think you cannot, you're missing out if you're not using it. Seriously, there's no stress in finding trades because it just brings them to you, okay? There's no rushing, there's no chasing, there's none of that stuff, it just brings you the trades. But here's one of the coolest things, Room three is monitored during the day by Ed. We understand traders sometimes run into problems, need a little help, right? Besides a workshop every week for the LTA scanner, Ed's monitoring this room. If you run into problems or something like that, ask your question here. This room is open all day long. And he will work to answer your question and try to help you with your solution. I don't know any software company that does that. Okay. I'm LTA scanner for members of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options is $97 a month. $97 a month. And I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, that barely pays for all of the server, the bandwidth, and the data that that we stream to you. It's not like if members get a, a break. If you're a non-member, it's $147 a month. Okay. Everything comes included, okay, for 97 a month. And here's the thing, you know, if you're in the business of trading, and I know a lot of you are thinking, man, 97 a month, I don't know about that. Remember, $200 a week makes you $9,600 a year. Okay, it's not that difficult with the LTA scanner to do that. And it is the cheapest employee you'll ever have in your business. It never gets tired. It never complains. It never wants a day off. Just every day you come in and turn it on, it goes to work trying to find you that next trade that you're looking for, that setup that you're looking for. Okay? Every single day, great trades are produced in the market but we're passing right by them in our rush to chase. And I'll tell you guys, chasing is a very difficult thing. That's right, it's month to month, there's no um, long term, you can try it, you know, and be with it as long as you want. Uh, month to month, it's not a costly thing. Okay, um, as, as a trader, one of the hardest things to break yourself of a habit of is that chase. We get all caught up in the emotion of the day, the emotion of what's going on, and we have to break that habit. If anyone has ever tried to break a, um, 
break a dog from chasing cars or something, it is tough to do. It's, it's, it's going to be that hard to break yourself of that chase, to be patient and disciplined and focused. But trust me, guys, if you do those things, your trading will improve. You're going to love life a whole lot better because you're not going to be all stressed out. And you're going to be making consistent money in the market where others are losing so much, chasing around and doing things, just waiting. Taking the trade when it identifies itself. Don't have to worry about taking every trade. Remember, we have what we're trying to achieve every week. Every week we're out there trying to achieve it. Wait for the best trade. Be picky. You can do that with this strategy. You can be very picky. You don't have to rush around and feel all stressed out. All right? So guys, I hope you got something out of this tonight. I appreciate you being here a ton. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any interest in that LTA scanner, please, guys, remember, be back here 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. And by the way, for those that may be listening to this video on YouTube, 2 p.m. Eastern every single Wednesday in room three, there's always a um, workshop where you can ask your questions, learn more about it, okay? You guys, I want to say thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. And um, I truly hope you got some good out of that. And by the way, if you need more detailed information, learn the 3-8 trap and those kind of things, just get over there to the YouTube channel. Seriously, it's, it's all there. It's all there and it's given away, okay? Something where people would charge you hundreds even, or thousands of dollars for the strategy. I put it out there free on YouTube. Pick up the th pick up the LTA scanner and just make it work for you. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I'll be right back here at my desk at 5 a.m. working on the morning market prep video. Take care. Have a great evening. You guys are awesome. We'll talk to you all soon.